National Meatball Day fast approaching. Who better to teach us how to make the perfect meatball than celebrity chef and Italian native Fabio Bibbiani. Yeah, Chef Fabio joins us now to break down a few tips and tricks and create a restaurant caliber meal. Welcome back. Welcome and thank you for having me as always. Uh, yes. yes, this is a staple, so this is something you really got to know how to make. Well. So, you know, if you have to have a meatball, I heard that we have some of the best in class. Now, it's not me saying it. No? It's the general yes, public, yes, right? right? So we, I think, you know, I think that the good meatball has to have few characteristics okay. that okay. make it stand out from the crowds. First of all, has to have a lot of flavor inside. Yep, yep. That's why we layers our ground beef, which will always be 75, 25% between mm -hmm. fat and lean ratio. Yes. Okay. You gotta have some fat yes. in a good meatball. Mm -hmm. um, we add the raw garlic and onion, so mm -hmm. the flavor stays in the meat, don't get diluted in the sauce. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the key differentiator is that two things. Number one, a copious amount of Parmesan cheese inside. In okay. it, okay. In it, in, in it. it. Parmesan cheese has got currency in Italy. You can pay for things with Parmesan in Italy. <laughs> you can, absolutely. Okay. And uh, as well as ricotta cheese. Okay. okay. See, I'm gonna give you a little inside tricks. When we first started Siena Tavern in Chicago, we were one of the few restaurants that actually made meatball using ricotta cheese into the filling, okay. right? Because ricotta, what it does, it replaces the milk soaked uh, bread, yeah, mm -hmm. bread and comes. it doesn't evaporate mm. in the cooking process because Got at it. the end of the day, milk is water. Yeah, it's flavorful, delicious water. Right, but it's not that structure when it comes down to stay in the ingredient okay. because it evaporates. Right, mm -hmm. so now again, you you know, to be stationed here. It's easier to make it by hand because we have a few minutes. But if you do this at home, you really want to use a food processor oh, okay. with a with a paddle attachment or a stand-up mixer. Oh, okay. It will it save really you. Good. Correct. It will save you the headache of having to clean and some sticky hand. Let's real quickly. So you have beef in there. I saw some onions. So yes, we have beef, onion, garlic, parsley, and basil. Okay. okay. We have parmesan. We have a little bit of breadcrumbs. And we have uh, one whole eggs. Okay. Mm. It kind of brings everything together. Yeah. <clears throat> now, traditionally, meatball, they were done with uh, veal, okay. pork. Oh, I was getting ready yeah. to Some say, Some people yeah. still do that, but, but, but there is a good story behind. You know, in the old days, the refrigerator was not always available. Mm. A lot of people couldn't afford the premium cuts of beef, at least where I come from, mm -hmm. where I grew up, right? So what my mom used to do, and we used to go help butchers, cleaning their shop on a weekend to make a few extra dollars. And uh, they were compensating you, not with money, because they were as broke as we were, mm -hmm. but they were compensating you with scraps. Mm -hmm. So now you got a bunch of, <clears throat> so now you got a bunch of meat scraps. So you don't have enough for a steak, right. but you have a lot of scraps. So mm -hmm. you ground them all, mm -hmm. and now you make meatball. Oh, there but you if go. you think huh. about it, if you technically think about it, pork, it's delicious. It is. Mm -hmm. But yeah. not as flavorful as beef. Right. right. <clears throat> and veal, it's a young beef. Right. Not as flavorful as beef. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking to get an actual delicious meatball, you're always better off with 100% beef. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Short ribs, chucks, kind of ground cuts, that, the same kind of cuts that you would use for a juicy burger, right? Okay. okay. Yeah. So then what we do, another key differentiator that we have, we sear the meatball in a skillet. Okay. Mm -hmm. We don't bake them in the oven. We sear them in a skillet, then we cover them with tomato sauce, and then we put them in the oven slow and low. Okay. Oh. And the result, and I'm gonna do a little TV magic switcheroo right here. Yeah. Ooh. And the result is a delicious meatball that is actually braised, not fried, mm. and uh, maintain all the moisture. Yeah, because it the looks sauce. so and good. And now every actual flavor stays in the meat uh -huh. and gets released in the sauce. Okay. And you add Not in the frying cheese. pan. Yeah, cheese. <clears throat> it's funny because, and I apologize, I have a little low voice because I've been horrific. celebrating the opening of one of our new restaurants over the weekend, so the voice went gone. Oh, that's the one in Lake Zurich? Yes, That Lago. you got 10,000 reservations in 24 hours? Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah okay. God bless. Yes. We did, we did, very, we did yes. very well with that yes. one. But uh -huh. Anyway, so and, 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 um, and so the flavor stays all in the pan. Then a mm. little fresh basil here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice amount of Parmesan. You know, if, if this was my dish, I'd be still yeah, yeah. grating. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. for me, the acceptable amount of Parmesan is when either you're out of Parmesan 
before I cannot longer see what's yeah, underneath. Exactly. Right? <clears throat> Ladies, please. I will okay, yeah, we got a question. Yeah. When you were growing up, did you eat <clears throat> meatballs with pasta? Or is that an American so thing? So that's that's actually a funny thing. <clears throat> Italy doesn't have spaghetti and meatball. I mean, oh, you yeah. can get right. it. Don't right. get me wrong. You can get it. But the reality is that polpette, which is the Italian name for meatball, is a classic entree okay. if you make them bigger. Or a, or a finger food, like a chicchetti, like an appetizer, okay, that's if you make them as appetizer. Now, America love to put anything on pasta. Yes, mm. Like, yeah. I've never seen chicken on pasta. <laughs> never seen anything like that. But, mm. hey, it's food. We're in the food mm -hmm. business. We want to make people happy, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. mm. This makes me happy. I know. This it makes so it it's a oh, glorious so meatball. Good. At one point, our meatball had his own Twitter account. Hilarious. That's I amazing. Know. Mm. Now, do you, when you cut the onion <clears> and garlic, like, do you make it re really, really small? Because I don't taste yeah, so, so, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the, the goal is that because we don't cook it, right? We, yeah. we, we put raw onion and garlic in the mixture yeah. with the meat mm -hmm. just so the flavor stay there. But if you do that, they have to be very fine yes. because, again, you're braising it, right? You're right. not cooking with a high temperature, so you don't want the raw garlic and the raw onion in your mouth, right. which you don't have. Yeah, here. you don't. My mm. kids would love this because they hate when there's onion pieces in there. My mm. kids loves this meatball. Yeah, oh, oh, these are so good. Meat? They're I very, do. they're very good. And we serve them in all our restaurants. Like I said, we started the <laughs> meatball bandwagon with Siena Tavern Ooh. over oh, 10 wow. years ago, and so we still have them everywhere in our menu. Oh. Bar Siena, Lago, everywhere. Run out there and get them. Oh my, yeah, they're, they're so delicious. delicious. You can try to make them at thank home. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank Saturday. you guys for Saturday, having me. Saturday, National Meatball Day. So try this recipe. Delicious. National Meatball Day. Let's make some meatball. Thank you, Chef. Thank uh, you, guys. FabioViviani.com is the website. Get more details on the new restaurants and all the other places he has, too. Oh, Thanks, yeah. Chef. All right. Thank, thank you, you, guys. Mm, all so right. Good.